how to set up your trading platform. That's what I wanna talk about here in this video, and this is definitely for beginners and those who are just getting started in the online world of trading. So if you're a battle-hardened veteran, this is not the video for you. Now, right up front, understand that your trading platform can be vastly complicated or it can be vastly simplified. I'm not saying which one's right or wrong. That's one of your jobs to figure out what's gonna best suit you. But as a beginner, I would argue that you wanna just make things very basic and then you can give yourself a foundation to which you can build from. So I'm gonna talk about five things that I would say you need to add to your trading platform. And then again, I'm not saying you have to keep those five things or always have them, but it gives you a good foundation because it's gonna allow you what you actually need to do as a trader. And that's to make decisions, to keep an eye on things, and then of course, to be able to actually execute your trades. So let's go to my desktop and I'll walk you through one of the trading platforms that I always recommend, especially to beginners. So what we'll be seeing here is Webull platform. And if you're interested, I'll put a link down below uh, where you can sign up for them. They're always running promotions. Uh, you know, giving away money or free stocks if you sign up. And it's totally free to sign up. So I definitely, you know, like I said, if you enjoy what you see here on the platform, uh, you can should at least consider them and then be sure to use that link. But let's go and let me show you how to set up your trading platform. So as mentioned, what we're looking at here is the Webull platform. And I realized, whoa, what am I even looking at? Yeah, I, I agree. So what we can do here and what I would recommend with whatever platform you're on and with Webull, like I said, I'm just gonna talk about in terms of Webull because this is how they have it set up. But come over here to customize and then we wanna just click on a blank layout. And then over here, there is something called widgets. So we're gonna click on that. And this is where we wanna to start to add in our tools. So the first thing that I would say you absolutely need to have is a chart, and not only a chart, but a candlestick chart. Once again, a candlestick chart, each one of these little things here are what represent a candlestick. Now a chart is important because this is what's gonna help you actually make decisions. You're gonna be tracking the price using a chart. So you need to have something that's telling you what the price is actually doing. And a candlestick chart will accomplish that for you. So very basic premise of, well, yeah, I, I guess I kind of do need to be able to track the price and see what prices are doing in more of a structured way. And that's what the candlestick chart is providing to you. So that's one thing that you're gonna need. The next thing you're gonna need is this right here called time and sales. This is what's gonna show you orders as they come in. So as I watch it right now, it's showing you that somebody just bought 100 shares and we're just happening to be watching it on the SPY. And you know, that's what's going on here. So somebody just bought some 120, 40. So that is time in sales. Now I should note that I'm doing this market uh, when the market has closed about 10 minutes ago. So there are still orders coming in here after hours, uh, but you know, during the, the normal market hours, this would be lighting up a whole lot more. But you wanna be able to track when people are buying, when people are selling. And again, that is gonna be the tool that is known as time and sales. The next thing you're gonna want, so again, widgets. We're gonna want screeners, or excuse me. You can do that, but I just wrote, there's a much easier way to do that, so never mind on that one. And we don't want that either. There we go. So on this one, actually come over here to market, and what you want, and I would say, now you can use that screeners, but again, that's a little too complicated because like I have to remember we're operating under the premise of you're a beginner, you're just getting started. So right here, that's a great scanner to start with. Most active. You want stocks, you want asset classes that are active. You don't want things that don't have any volume, and there's just a basic scan like this that will now walk you through the most active stocks in the market, and that's Oh, so important, you don't wanna find yourself in a spot where sure you can buy the stock, but then when it comes time to sell, you're gonna have a really difficult time. You wanna avoid that, and the way you do avoid that is by finding very active stocks, and that's what we just found here. And so after we can start to locate stocks, well, we wanna be able to still monitor them, right? So that's where a watch list comes into play. And what I like about this is we Webull being, if you just drag this, You can put these right next to each other because at the end of the day, we wanna to try to keep up as much of this as free as possible because the, the, the less of this you use, the more stuff you can add. And if I just put these here, so now I can just easily flip back and forth. So active to the watch list. So for example, let's just say that uh, this one right here caught your eye. You could right click on that and then right there, click to uh, the watch list and add to it. And then just like that, when you come over here, you can see that it has now been added. So very, very easy way to move something from, okay, wow, that's active, okay, wow, I like it, and you like it maybe because when you look up at the chart, for some reason you like it, so you wanna still watch it, so that's where you would then just add it to your watch list right there. 
So these things are all working together. And then at the end of the day, so think about it, you found something via the scanner of active, you've decided that you like it via the chart and the price in action, so you decide that you've wanted to continue to watch it via the watch list, and part of watching is also just what, what it's doing, so look at this right now, a bunch of sales have come in, but you wanna track the progress of it, but you still do need to actually execute the trade. You still have gotta be able to buy shares and sell shares if you wanna make the actual trade, right? So you've got all these other tools in place, but the fifth one is just as important because all this stuff becomes worthless if you can't actually execute the trade. So that's where we go here and click on that. Now they have several different choices, but like I said, I would just go with the classic and that's gonna allow you to tell whether you wanna, you know, buy or sell, you know, what kind of order, the quantity, so on and so forth. You you know, take stop losses, all that. I mean, it's it's a great, great feature. And like I said, it's all pre-programmed for you. So you don't have to make this overly complicated. Now, how you wanna arrange these on your screen, that's up to you. But like I said, is what's nice is we haven't even used up all our space. So if you wanna have another chart or what have you, like I said, this is not the be all end all, this is not the holy grail, but these are five things that I would argue make a whole lot of sense to at least start with because it's allowing you to you know, find stocks, to make decisions on them, continue to watch them, and then ultimately execute the order. So these are gonna be the five things. Again, to reiterate, a technical chart, namely candlesticks, then you're gonna to wanna to be able to monitor it via time and sales, and then you wanna to be able to find things, so that is where you look for active stocks, and via a scanner, then you're gonna to wanna to be able to watch them, which is number four, and then you're gonna to wanna to actually be able to trade them, which is number five. So I hope this helps, and just to really reiterate, this is not a holy grail, you can add that much more, but I don't want you to get overwhelmed, because whoa, there's so many different choices, and what's this and what's that? At the end of the day, if you add these five things, that'll give you a very rational, a very logical starting point from which you can build from as you learn more about the platform and just learn more about yourself as a trader. So like I said, if you enjoyed what you saw here via Webull, I'll put a link down below for disclaimer's sake. That is an affiliate link. So if you click on it, uh, I will also get something. Um, so just keep that in mind. But it's also a, a nice way to help out the channel. If you appreciate the channel, appreciate these videos, just use that link to sign up because you're also going to get stuff too but I'll also happen to get something. So like I said, I hope this helps. If you do have any questions or anything like that, definitely leave those down below. But these are the five things that I would definitely say to set up and get established within your trading platform. Whether or not you use Webull, these five things still need to be in your beginner and startup setup. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.